at 10. Hi everyone and Merry Christmas. I'm Lisa Bedeau. Robin and Mike are off tonight. Some local heroes kept the flame alive on the 14-year tradition of helping kids on Christmas. As Valley News Team's Emily Welker shows us, Fargo firefighters made the rounds distributing toys to kids in hospitals. I ended up bringing him to the ER because I just wasn't, something wasn't right. He's less than two years old, but in the past week, more was required of Ryan Erickson. Ryan landed in intensive care a week ago, just in time for Christmas. Our wish was to have him off the ventilator, and we got our Christmas wish. So don't feel so hot. No. And why don't I open your present here, Emily? Oh. So the everyday heroes of Fargo's fire department stopped by to visit Ryan and the other kids in the ICU. It's a lot of stuffed animals that are going to be for the younger kids. We're away from our families too, so we thought it would be a good way to uh, make somebody else's family, um, family's Christmas a little brighter. Between horses, ponies, tigers. The Fargo Fireman's Fund for Christmas Kids is more than a decade old, much older than most of its recipients. See the fireman? Sometimes a big, big fireman coming into a room can be intimidating, but hopefully, hopefully they got, got, uh, got excited about the presents. For all their feats of bravery, this duty takes a different kind of strength. Matt Nelson became a father for the first time nine months ago. I was thinking of him when I was buying gifts for the, for the other kids, too. And although it doesn't take much strength for those whom much is daily required... How old are you, Emily? Twenty-two. Two? Almost two. Okay. Just being here today makes them heroes enough. Merry Christmas. Emily Welker, Valley News Live. Firefighters contribute year-round to the toy fund to buy new toys for children whose belongings are destroyed in house fires. We'll talk about the Christmas present of a lifetime. Minnesota National Guard soldier Darren Engstrom walked off a plane and into the welcoming arms of his father. Darren's been deployed since October and wasn't scheduled to be home on leave until the spring of 2008. But when a fellow